Hi, my name is Albert Wu. I'm a design engineering manager for Power Products at Linear Technology. I'm going to talk about the LT8705, a new, high power, highly flexible synchronous buck boost IC designed to drive many types of loads. The LT8705 uses a buck boost controller power topology. This topology uses four power NFETs and a single inductor as shown in this figure. The main benefit of this topology is that it allows power conversion with input voltages higher than, equal to, or lower than the desired output voltage. The LT8705 can operate with output voltage and input voltage of up to 80 volts while processing up to 250 watts of power. Additionally, the part features four integrated regulation loops. Because all four switching elements are power NFETs, very efficient power conversion results. As you can see, peak efficiencies as high as 98% are achievable in this application. Here, the input voltage can range from 36 volts to 80 volts. The output voltage is 48 volts with a maximum load of 5 amps. The LT8705 has four integrated feedback loops. Any combination of output voltage, output current, input voltage, and input current can be easily regulated. For each feedback loop, the part contains one corresponding error amplifier. All four error amplifiers have their outputs diode ORD at the VC pin, which is also the same pin used to compensate the loops. The VC pin commands the level of current in the inductor, where a higher VC voltage means a higher level of current is commanded. The feedback out and feedback in pins regulate output and input voltage respectively. When the feedback out pin rises higher than the internal reference voltage of 1.2 volts, its error amplifier begins to pull down on the VC pin reducing the commanded current in the inductor. Likewise, when the feedback in pin falls below the internal reference voltage, its error amplifier also pulls down on the VC pin. The feedback in pin can be used to ensure the input to the LT8705 does not fall below a predetermined level. This is useful when the power source has a higher source impedance, such as the case for a solar panel. The current loops both for output and input, operate somewhat differently, and more details will follow. Open drain status pins indicate which feedback loops are active at any particular moment. These can be used to drive LEDs for easy indication of what the LT8705 is doing. Here are more details about the current regulation loops. This figure refers to the IMON in, or input current regulation loop, but the same principles apply to the output current loop. A transconductance amplifier, A7, measures the signal across a current sense resistor and provides a current into the IMON in pin. A resistor and capacitor on the IMON in pin converts this current into a ground referred and filtered voltage signal, which then goes into the respective error amplifier. When the voltage on IMON in exceeds a reference voltage, the error amplifier will activate and pull down on the VC pin. There is an additional comparator that looks for when the IMON in voltage exceeds 1.6 volts. When this occurs, the system will determine that a fault condition has occurred and will enter a fault mode whereby the LT8705 will protect itself. The LT8705 also includes an integrated 3.3 volt linear regulator. This can be used to power external loads and the linear regulator can provide up to 12 milliamps of output current. The device has a switch enable pin. When this pin is driven low, the switching of the NFETs in the circuit is disabled while the other functions of the chip continue. This pin can be driven by a microcontroller and is useful when the LT8705 needs to be monitored and controlled by another chip. The LT8705 includes a clock output pin. This pin generates a 180 degrees out of phase clock useful for synchronizing other DC to DC converters to the exact same frequency as the LT8705. Because this clock signal is 180 degrees out of phase, 
It can be used to drive the sync pin of another LT8705 and the two parts join together to create a multi-phase system. Here is an example of how the regulation loops can work in a system. A power supply powers the input to the LT8705 and the output is connected to a battery. Here are two regulation loops are configured. The first is the battery voltage with a target of 14 volts. The maximum battery charge current is set for 5 amps. So the two regulation loops used are output voltage and output current. In this example, the battery voltage is at 12.8 volts and the output current is at 5 amps. Therefore, the regulation loop that is in control is the output current. The servo I out status pin is thus pulled low and its LED is lit. The servo feedback out status pin is high impedance, so its LED is dark. Here, the battery has just reached its target charge voltage and its charge current is still at 5 amps. Now both output voltage and output current loops are active at the same time. Both status pins, servo feedback out and servo eye out, are pulled low so both LEDs are lit. In this instance, a different system is shown where the power source to the LT8705 is a solar panel. Note the feedback divider from the panel feeding the feedback in pin of the LT8705. A battery is again connected to the output with the output current set to a maximum of 5 amps. The output voltage regulation loop would also be used, but is not shown here for clarity. Here the solar panel is getting enough energy from the sun, so the panel voltage is at 20 volts, and the LT8705 is not asking too much power from the panel. The battery charge current is at its limit of 5 amps, so the LED corresponding to the output current regulation loop is lit. In this figure, a cloud has now moved over the solar panel, so the panel can no longer provide enough power to the battery. The panel begins to collapse, but because of the input voltage regulation loop, the panel cannot fall below its maximum power point. The panel falls to 15 volts, but does not go lower. The battery current is now 2 amps, so the output current regulation loop is inactive. The input voltage loop is active, so the LED for the input regulation loop is now lit. If the input regulation loop did not exist in this circuit, the panel would collapse to a very low voltage, and very little power would be left to charge the battery. The LT8705 can be used in a wide range of applications. Here is a complete schematic showing the LT8705 used in the telecom voltage stabilizer application. The input voltage range is a wide 36 volts to 80 volts, generating a fixed 48 volt 5 amp output. Here the LT8705 is used to generate a lower output voltage, 12 volts in this case. The input voltage range is very wide at 4 volts minimum to 80 volts maximum. The output load can be as high as 5 amps. In conclusion, the LT8705 is an efficient 80 volt synchronous 4 switch buck boost controller that can be used for many types of applications. Its integrated 4 regulation loops makes so many functions easily achievable. It can be used as a voltage regulator, current source, battery charger, solar panel powered regulator, and much more. Visit us at linear.com for more information. Thank you.